guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to solve the 2x2 two two using the Ortega method. This method is split up into three steps. Step 1 is to solve the first layer. Step 2 is to orient the last layer. And step 3 is to permute all of the pieces. One thing to note on the 2x2 two two is if you're using the Rubik's Pocket Cube and you solve the white side first, the top layer is blue instead of uh, yellow unless you've already changed the colour scheme. So let's scramble the puzzle. Okay, so the first step is to get the first layer. So I'm just going to look around the puzzle and decide which face I'm going to start with. Now we always start with white, but it doesn't matter which face we actually solve it on because there's no centres. So I'm going to start on this face because there's already two white pieces on this face. So I'm going to hold this face down and look for the rest of the pieces. Now I see there's a white piece here and also a white piece here. So to get these corners into the right place, we're going to use the normal 3x3 algorithm, which is the R-U-R-I or the L-I-U-I-L moves. So I'm going to start with this one because it's already over a gap. And I'm simply just going to put it in like so. And then we have three pieces done. Then we're going to find the next piece, which is actually already over the slot. I'm going to use the RU2RI move because the white piece is facing upwards. And then I'm going to put it in as we would on a normal 3x3. As you can see, we've solved the first layer. Now you may think, how come these corners aren't in the right place? Because on a 3x3, three three, we have to have the first layer completely solved. But this is not the case on this puzzle. It doesn't matter that these aren't in the right place. All that matters is that all the white pieces are on the same face. This, may, uh, this part is quite intuitive and uh, it does get easier the more you practice it and you do get used to the cases. So don't worry if you're not that good at it at the start. Okay, so the next step after sewing the first layer is to orient the last layer. And there's seven different cases that we need to know for this. The first case we have here is when we have two yellow pieces facing us and two yellow pieces facing away from us. So we hold two of them facing us and two facing the back here. And we're going to do the algorithm R2, U2, RI, U2, R2. One thing to note is that if you don't have two yellow pieces facing you, and you do the same algorithm, you won't solve it and it will just stay the same. So you have to have the two yellow pieces facing you. And that will successfully orient the top layer for that case. Okay, so the second case which we're going to do is when we have two pieces facing to the left of us. Then on the right side, one of them facing us and one of them facing away from us. And we've got to hold it like this. And the algorithm we use is R, U2, R2, UI, R2, UI, R2, U2, R. And that will successfully orient the last layer for that case. Okay, the next case is when we have two pieces that are correctly oriented and then the next two pieces are facing to the left of us. So we hold the correctly oriented pieces on our right side and have the unoriented pieces facing to the left. And we do this algorithm. F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. And that will successfully orient all the pieces for that case. The next case is similar to the last one. When we have two pieces correctly oriented on the right side, but instead of having two pieces here, we have one facing us and one facing to the back of us. So we hold the two correctly oriented pieces on our right side again, and we do this algorithm. R, U, R, I, U, I. R I F R F I and that will correctly orient all the pieces for that case. In this case we have two pieces correctly oriented that are diagonally apart. 
and then we need to have one of the yellow pieces facing us and the one in the top right facing to the right. You need to make sure that you have this yellow piece facing you. If you have it like this and there's no yellow piece here, then the algorithm won't work. So you have to have the piece facing you like this. And you do the algorithm F R U I R I U I R U R I F I and that will correctly orient all the pieces for that case. Okay, so the next case is when we have one piece correctly oriented. And I'm going to hold that piece in the bottom left. And then the bottom right piece has to be facing us. The top right piece has to be facing to the right. And the top left piece has to be facing to the back. We have to hold it like this. Otherwise the algorithm won't work. And we do the move R U R I U R U two R I and that will correctly orient all the pieces for that case. Okay, and the last case is again when we have one piece oriented. Now what you want to be careful of is that if you have the piece in the bottom left, as you can see we don't have a yellow piece facing us this way, which means that it's not the same case as the one we just did. Instead, we're going to have the oriented piece in the top right and we need to have the bottom left piece facing us, the bottom right piece facing to the right and the top left facing to the left. And then we hold it like this and we do the algorithm R U2 R I U I R U I R I and that will correctly orient the pieces for that case and that's all the cases that we need to know okay so the final step of solving the 2x2 two two is known as XLL and this is when we're going to permute all of the pieces hence solving the puzzle so the first case we have here is quite easily noticed and it's when we have blocks of 2 that are all solved and they just need to be placed correctly and we can hold this anyway as long as we have the two sword faces on the top and bottom. And we're going to do the algorithm R2, back to R2. And as you can see, that will correctly permute all the pieces and solve the puzzle. Okay, this next case is a little bit more difficult to notice, but it's when we have a block of two here, then no other blocks around the cube. So we only have this block of two. And we see that the block of two is made up of orange pieces. So we're going to find another orange piece, but we're going to need it to be here in the left hand side. So we're going to look for the orange piece. There's one here, but it needs to be here. So this isn't the correct piece. So we're going to turn it again, and we see it here. And we finally have the block of two here, and then the one orange here. So we're going to want to hold it like this and do the algorithm L, D I, L, F two, L I, D, L I. And as you can see, we have now permuted all the pieces and solved the puzzle. The next case that we have is when we have a block of two on the bottom, and also a block of two at the top. Now, bear in mind that these two blocks don't always have to be the same color, but they are in this case. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to line up the two blocks so that they match up here. And then we're going to hold the two matched up blocks and none of the other pieces will be matched up in blocks horizontally. So we hold the matched up blocks here and we do the algorithm R2U, R2U2, F2, U, F2. And as you can see, we have solved the puzzle. Now I'll just do it when there's two uh, pieces that aren't the same color. As you can see, these two blocks are matched up, but they're not the same color. And if we look around the rest of the puzzle, there's no other blocks. So we're gonna do the same algorithm with these two matched up blocks. R, two, U, R, two, U, two, F, two, U, F2 and all we have to do then 
is just do a U2 or a U or a UI and that will solve the puzzle. Okay, so the next case is when we have the whole of the bottom layer completely solved. Then we have one block of two on the top layer solved. And what we're going to want to do is we see that this is a green block of two. So we're going to want to go across to the green. So these are all matched up now. And then we have all these pieces. So if we look closer, all we need to do is switch these two pieces. So we hold it like this. And we have the correctly uh, placed blocks on the left. We'll do the algorithm R U2 R I U I R U2 R I F R I F I R that correctly permutes all the pieces and solve the puzzle. Okay, and the final case now is when we have again the bottom layer completely solved and we have two pieces here solved diagonally. So these are in the right place and this is in the right place. So all we need to do is swap these two. So we have the two that need to be swapped in the bottom right and the top left, and we do this algorithm. R, UI, RI, UI, F2, UI, R, U, RI, D, R2. And as you can see, we're now solved the puzzle. And that's all the cases that we need to know for XLL and if you can learn all of them and also all of the OLL algorithms you can now solve the 2x2 two two using the Ortega method. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have found this tutorial helpful and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment or personal message me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.